Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Sukuden. Last time we defeated Millich once and for all and he joined our army. We got over it. We also got into our first skirmish with my dad, General Tio, and guess what? He kicked our ass, but Pawn somehow held him off. Now, hold on, before we get too much further into this, we need a boat. Uh, <clears throat> let me re-explain this before I get into this conversation. What we need to do is take the boat north to get to the town that leads to the secret factory. But our boat really isn't wasn't good enough to do that before. Come down here to where our boat is, and apparently Gan and Commandal are already working on it. Master Funky G, bitch, you don't call me boss. Anyways, w they made me a high speed boat. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a ride on that bitch. Heck yeah. And if you bring Taiho and Yamku, you get a little bit of extra dialogue. And by the way, you actually do have to bring Taiho and Yamku with you. Uh, I'll show you my party right now. It has Kai, Millich, Kirkus, Taiho, and Yamku. Now, I could actually go where I need to go, but I'm going to do a couple of recruits that I wanted to do at the end of last episode that I didn't get a chance to because of too much scenes going on. So instead of going to where I need to go, I'm going to head over down here to this area of the world again, this neck of the woods. Hopefully I can teleport again. Uh, I don't think I want to be in this town in particular. I'm not even sure why I did went this way at all to get here. Uh, the reason why I didn't just teleport there and do it before I even did that scene is because there's some points in the game where Vicky won't be able to teleport you for whatever, whatever invisible plot wall the game wants to give you. Why did, why, did I, why did I do exactly what I just did? Please tell me you can teleport me. Okay, cool. Alright, I want to go to... Let's see. We have Millich, so... First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Scarlotisha. Remember, last episode when we were in his house, there was a few different people here that had names and faces. And you already know the clue about people with names and faces. Oh, man. And now I have a different party, so I'm going to have to fight some of these battles whether I like it or not. Which is fine. It's all good. Let's go ahead and fisherman attack that nightmare in the back. Only reason I can't run away is because Kai is pretty low level, and I think... No, I think Millich is actually the right level. Like, he, he's high enough level to actually help me. He doesn't hinder me at all. Yeah, we won without even having to get hit at all. That was fantastic. We just need to level up Kai, and then I think we'll be able to let go of the enemies in here without issue. But before we even worry about that, let's go ahead and talk to Ivanov right here, who's apparently a painter that we learned about last episode. And now that... Millich is not here anymore. He has freedom. What are you going to do with your freedom? Well, join another army, why don't you? Yep, I'll take a painter. And yay, we got the painter Ivanov. Now we actually have a use for all that paint we've been collecting throughout the game. Remember all the red paint, white paint, white paint, black paint, all the paints we've been collecting? Well, they're actually going to serve a purpose now that we have a painter. I'll be showing that off later. Not in this episode or anything, but eventually. I'll probably show off the painting thing once I have all the different color paints in the whole game. So it might be a, a long time before I show that off. Because it really doesn't have a payoff until you get all of them. It really doesn't. Uh, What the heck. Let's let's fight them. I, I want to fight these battles because I want the, the, the money. Oh, speaking of money, I didn't bring my prosperity rune with me. Ah, whatever. Then maybe I'll... This will be the last battle I fight then. Screw it. Damn, now that Kai leveled up a little bit, he kicks ass. I should get... Oh, you know what I didn't do with Kai, though, is I didn't level up his weapon. Damn, that means he could be even more deadly. Scary. Anywho, the other person we can recruit here in this Scarletisha castle is Master Millich's singing whore who just stands by his bedside and sings to him. And she doesn't even ask. She's just like, oh, Millich, I'm joining. That was easy enough. So there's two more new characters for us. Yeah, this Sukadin, it's really way too easy to recruit characters. Like, just walk up to people and talk to them. Barely any prerequisites necessary. Barely. I mean, there are prerequisites, obviously, but nothing too terribly amazing. In fact, I'm not going to teleport. I'm going to walk. There's one more person we can recruit right now. And they lie back in the town of Ante, which is the closest town to me. Just north now. Right here. Yep, yep. Who is it going to be, though? Well... Have you ever wondered if our castle needed a Walmart greeter? 
Welcome, this is the township of Ante. Yay, they're not calling it Beer Craphead anymore. Thank you so much, I could call this town by its original name. Well, for that, you want to come be our own Walmart greeter? I mean, we could use a personal Walmart greeter. Yeah. Yay, we got ourselves a Walmart greeter. We only have to pay him minimum wage. Just kidding, I'm not going to pay him at all. All right, let's head back to the castle then. And that's pretty much all the recruit fest I wanted to go off on my own and do. But don't think that that's the end of the recruiting in this episode. Oh, no, 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 no. You'll see soon enough. Yeah, this is going to be another one of those type of episodes where we're just going to go ape shit on the recruit fest. And we're not even going to have to go out of our way to do it. Well, I won't say out of my way, but we're going to have to do a little bit of work to get one of them. But I'm not going to spoil it. Let's head over to where we need to go. So if you'll recall, I said there was a, a white dot over here at the peninsula. Oh, by the way, our boat goes really fucking fast now, if you didn't notice. Up here by the peninsula, or I should say the inlet. If you would have came up here before, you would have come to this whirlpool and you would not have been able to cross. But now that my boat is super fast, the whirlpool doesn't affect it. I can drive all over it. So I can just sit on there. It can't affect me. I got a super power fast supercharger engine. <laughs> anyway, so now we can go up to this town over here called Kirov. Awesome. Awesome. So let's check out what we got here in Kirov. Well, we got an empty house. Definitely very empty. I'll tell you that much. Very, very empty. It actually has its own theme, too, man. I forgot. It's like we got a lady over here. What's up, lady? That big house over there belongs to Kunto, the boss of, the boss of Kirov. Well, he wasn't home, apparently. Empty-ass house. Let's see what's going on in here. Well, someone's cooking on the stove, but nobody's here to watch it. Tasted that stew. Mmm, tasty. Yeah, instead of just looking at the stew, we can actually taste it in these houses. Kind of cool. What's this lady sitting here washing fucking clothes or something? Who are you people? I'm just doing the laundry. You know me. Oh, we can we can get a laundry person? Well, I guess we have a bath. We could use a laundry person. Oh, that was easy enough. Oh, but she needs soap. Okay, well, yeah. To recruit Sarah, we actually have to get some soap for her. And to get that soap, we're going to have to go on a bit of a trading fetch quest. Luckily, it doesn't mean we have to go anywhere. We can do it here in this town. But it's still going to require us to do a little bit of back and forthness. At any rate... That's two stews we have now tasted, and yes, there's a reason why I'm tasting those stews. It's not just random. Hmm. That guy doesn't seem to have any soap. I'm looking for soap around here, people. You got some soap? Sure, I have some soap, and I'll gladly lend you some. But I'm out of soy sauce. Will you get some soy sauce for me? Oh, God, you want soy sauce? I don't have any stinking soy sauce. Means I have to find somebody else to get some soy sauce, I guess. Ooh, they got dragon armor here? Oh, man. Too bad I don't have very much money. I'm definitely going to have to buy some, or do some grinding or something. I need some monies, big time. Anybody got some soy sauce around here? Oh, this guy's got some, easy enough. You need some salt. Okay, well, yeah, you can kind of see where this is going, can't you? Can't you? We have to basically go around and I'll talk to that lady in a minute. There's nothing special about her right now anyways. Salt? Yeah, okay, here's the salt lady. But first, she wants a yardstick. What the fuck? These people just want such random stuff. Yardstick. Let me guess. This lady has a yardstick. No? Who's got the yardstick? Let's see. Well, let's check the item shop real quick because I might be able to buy something. We can buy normal stuff and sh and sugar. And oh my god, you can buy fortune crystals here? Holy shit. Oh, now. Okay, that makes more sense now. I knew there was a reason why I wanted to get prosperity crystals early in the game, or the prosperity crystal that I went on a quest for in the second episode. That's why, because you can buy fortune crystals later. Not that it really matters at this point. I mean, you level up, like I said, without any problems. But anyways, what we're here to do is buy some sugar. Buying the sugar will make sense in a minute. But first, we got to figure out who the hell has the yardstick. Uh, are they in the inn? Maybe they're in the inn. Is there people in here? There is. There's this guy. My name is Gorgeous. My occupation is free, man, you might say. To put it simply, I'm an idler. Why don't we play a game? If you beat me, I'll join you. Okay, I guess we're playing a game. Alright, well, this game, it's not exactly the same as uh, the cup game that we played earlier. But, it's definitely, I would say this game is slightly harder, if only because you have to, you have to win at it. Uh, what am I doing? 
Um, you gotta match two faces. It's just basically a matching memory game. And the way it's set up is, uh, you just have to get five, or you just pick how many different kinds of faces it has. And it's, it's pretty much the easiest game ever. You just click, if you go, as long as you click fast enough, you're good. And we're good. And the time doesn't go by when it's actually making a match. So, boom. Victorious. You set a new record, and boom. How hard was that? Not hard at all. Required basically no skill at all. So easy a monkey could do it. Anyways, so, without even trying, we've recruited Gorgeous. And all he does is, when you go back to your castle, he'll be there, and you can play that game as much as you want. Simple as that. Yo, what's up? Staying? It'll cost you 200 bits. My kind of in. Guys that talk like that is my homies right there. Too bad I don't want to stay right now. Now, this might be the guy that has the yardstick. Yeah, okay. But, you know, I need sugar. So, that's why you buy sugar. Now, you retrace your steps and start with the sugar. You give the guy the sugar, he'll give you the yardstick. So, what do you do with the yardstick? Well, you take it to the person who wanted the yardstick. And, like I said, you can already see where this is going. Luckily, it's all in the same town, so you don't have to, like, go around... The whole damn game going to town to town trying to figure out who the hell has what. You just walk around the same town until you go backtrack and get the soap that you originally wanted. It's much nicer. Anyway, there's my soy sauce. Deliver the soy sauce to this duty 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 bag over here. And he'll hand over the soap. Douchebag had the soap the whole time, and this lady's right here We're just waiting for some soap. Well, Sarah, I got you some soap. Can you join my army now? Hell yeah, she can. Awesome. Okay, so Sarah, Georges, Gorgeous, however you want to pronounce it, on my team, or in my army. Last but not least, remember how I tasted both of those stews? Well, if you come in this place, after you have, um, have tasted both stews, this chef guy will be here by the name of Lester. Oh my, you've gone around tasting all my stews. You must be someone special if you appreciate the taste of my stew. I see, you're the leader of the army, no wonder. Apparently, leaders of armies have a bunch of affinity towards stew. Well, whether we like it or not, Lester joins the army just because we tasted his stew. Yeah. Okay, well, now we got two two uh, army chefs between Antonio and Lester. Maybe we can have a cooking battle later. Anyway, let's talk to this bitch over here right quick. This is Melody. Who are you? Well, I'm nothing compared to you, but a rune master once told me that I have a special power. To use it, though, I need a rune. Okay, well... I guess we'll help you out later. Basically, she wants a specific rune, even if she didn't say so. And to get her on your team, you gotta get that rune. What rune is that? Well, I'll let you know when I find it. It's a special rune. You can't use it for anything other than recruiting her, so it's not a big deal, really. And now we're in a new area on the map. Fantastic. It's gonna be fun using this group as my party, too. If I really wanted to before I came over here, I could've changed my party. But I figured it'd be fun to use this party for a little bit. I'm going to level up Kirkus a little bit. Taiho and Yamku are actually necessary to recruit somebody here in a little bit. And Kaya is just fun to use. And Milich, eh, he's not so bad. Nothing really special about Milich, but he's not a terrible character or anything like that. Anyway, and here we got another guy just chilling in this broken-ass village of Calica. Leon Silverberg? What? We got another Silverberg in the house. Huh. That's all there is to it. You must recruit as many soldiers as you can. Yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. Well, maybe we'll be able to get something from him later? Hint, hint. He has a name and a face. Do I need, need I say any more? Yeah. Basically, with Leon, you can't get him yet. He'll be one of the... Well, I won't say one of the last characters to recruit, but he'll be like one of the last ten, maybe, that we recruit in the game. So just make sure when you come here, you talk to him. If you don't talk to him right now... You'll have to remember to come do it again later. You kind of talking to him now actually triggers some other conversations that you need to get him later. So just make sure you come talk to him as soon as you can. It'll save your ass the trouble in the long run. Cause Leon is actually one of those characters that I I used to forget to to get. Or it's not that I forget, but I didn't really understand how to get him. So I would miss him, or I'd be scrambling at the very end of the game trying to get him, and there's and it would just make you like you'd accidentally progress the plot and you didn't mean to because to get him you actually have to talk to Matthayu. So if Matthayu is sitting in the war room and you're about to progress the plot by talking to him, you can't exactly go back and get Leon during that now, can you? The, the, while the story is trying to progress. 
Anyways, have I even talked about where we are? We're in the freaking abandoned ass, broken ass, damaged ass, destroyed ass village of Calica. Yeah, I should probably be talking about that a little bit. Just ignoring it completely right now. How did this place get so freaking destroyed? Well, there's there's people who talk about it. Like, this guy might actually give us a hint about it. What's your business here, young man? Me? I'm the last living resident of this town. This lost town. He's a liar. He's not exactly. I mean, we already saw Leon. And there's another... There's actually another person around here, too, we'll be running into before we get out of here. Anyway, this town is, it's, it's, you can see by how it's destroyed nature, why there'd be enemies kind of overrunning it, it's overrun with monsters, since there's no people to keep the monsters out. Well, I should say, there's mostly no people, there's an old man sitting in here by himself, who's apparently immune to all these monsters. But yeah, this is a dangerous place, it's the only town in the game where you can fight, then again, it's not, like I said, not much of a town, it's more of a dungeon. But, I mean, it was a town, it still has all the buildings. But it's only got one path you can take to get through town. But don't forget to grab all the treasures. There's another antique. We'll have to get that appraised to see what it is. I always thought that was weird. Like, you, when you get the antiques in a treasure chest, that they're called antiques and not question mark whatever. Because when you look in your inventory, then you get to see what question mark item it is. Like, I just got an antique, and it's actually a question mark painting, you see. Well... Why couldn't it just say question mark painting when I got it out of the chest? Beats me. And yes, I see that guy there. I will talk to him in just a moment. But I want to check the last house over here because I think it has one more treasure. One last treasure. One more last treasure. Ba-boom. Ba-boom. Rocket to the moon. Aw, oh, yeah. Let's check it. What do we got? Let's see. Sound crystal. Found it already. Remember how that bitch wanted a specific crystal? Because she was meant for something? Well, hint, hint, her name was Melody. Maybe maybe a sound crystal will work well for a, a woman named Melody. That would make sense, right? Well, maybe we'll have to go back to her and see what that might accomplish. But before we do that, let's talk to this Farmer Brown guy. Now, hint, hint, don't step on his plants. Don't do it. He's a black man. What's up, black man? What up, black man? What do you plan to do? Leave me to wake your battles? Um, I guess I can trust you. Your eyes, they're honest. Don't, um, yeah, we'll recruit him. Why not? Eventually, my seeds will sprout. Perhaps I must fight to protect him. I tried to be like a black country man, but that didn't work very well. He's not very black, even though his name is Black Man. Black Man. Now let's step on his plants. Ha ha. Snap, crackle, pop. Ha ha. Stepped on your plants. I stepped on your plants. He's nowhere to be seen, so he can't get mad. Um, let's just fight this one last one. Why not? I'm actually just about ready to end this episode anyways. Anyways. Just die, Hawkman. Wait, were these Hawkman? Hawkman? Die, Hawkman. Right. That wasn't so bad. It's nice when you can let go, but I need the money. I should have brought somebody who had the Prosperity Crystal. Right now it's on Victor, and I didn't even think about it. Alright, so we're on the other side of... Oh. I pressed up and it went down. What the fuck? Fucking controller. Always trying to, to not do, or do what I t say. Just whatever. Screw you. Screw you. Die, you red devil bird skull thing. These are such strange looking enemies, aren't they? Like, how do you describe that thing? It's like a scorpion almost. So ugly looking. Weak sauce is whatever it is. Anyway, so here it is. The secret factory. And a battle. God damn, there's battles everywhere. But yeah, there's the secret factory. You saw it on the map. But has it been overrun? Will the fire spears still be here? I'm not sure. I mean, if you recall, the who was the guy that was in charge of the secret factory? I think his name was Mose. Is Mose going to be alive? Are we going to run into some Imperials? Will the fire spears even work if we do find them? Find out next time on Let's Play Sukadin. Peace.